Thank you for purchasing from Garbage Commander. Happy to bring these videos of how to install our products. I want to thank you for purchasing our SVMT, which is a single can wall mounted hook carrier. Your package should consist of a 12 inch support arm, which has the two holes in the front and a hole center hole. Two hooks that are identical, a rear retainer bracket, your hardware, and the ball mounting base along with a 3 8 PTO clip and a quarter inch PTO clip. The tools you're going to be needing are going to be in any combination 7 16 9 16 open end wrenches or combination of the, of the sockets. So let's get started. So let's start with the arm. Take one of your hooks. The face will be where the return flange is up and this uh, return tab is rear. Put our bolt through a quarter inch bolt. On our 12 inch support arm, it will go on the face of the arm and that support or that little tab, return tab, will tuck up underneath. Put our bolt, quarter inch washer, lock washer, and nut. Adjust. Now for the second one is where we're going to put our retaining bracket. Same thing, we're going to use our bolt. We're going to put it up underneath from the face. The bracket has a little slit hole that's going to go on the back side of this arm and the top bottom or the bottom of the support arm. Tucks up underneath. Washer. Get it tight. Now we're set with our 12 inch arm. If you have a real rough terrain or real steep, you can order an additional rear retainer bracket. We sell them on our website, they're either in a pair for the double or you'll get a single and then you'll get an extra PTO pin. The PTO pin is for using for hauling or holding your can's handle. Once the can's handle is rested into the, to the slot, you'll just simply pin it in place using the PTO. So let's mount the support arm, the 12 inch support arm, to our ball mounting base. In your packet you'll have a 2 inch 3 8 bolt, goes through that face hole in the center. Take our bracket with the two flanges upright, put it over, and it will rest on those two flanges. Take a quarter, take the 3 8 washer, the 3 8 lock washer, and the 3 8 nut, and with a 9 16 combination of wrenches. We get that snugged. We don't have to over tighten it, but it's simple as that, and we're all set to go. Now that we have it all assembled and it's ready to go, you'll use your inch and seven eighths or a two inch ball. It'll slip underneath behind the ball. You'll take your three eighths pin and simply just slip it in between the two holes. Lock it in place and you'll be all set going. Again, I want to thank you for purchasing our products. And remember, hashtag Master the Can.